but like it's gonna be a lot of work it's gonna be more work than uh, what spur wants to do today so <laughs> we're just gonna carry him and you don't look too bad considering he's been up there uh, baking for um, probably 30 minutes What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. We're back at it with more Emerge NYC gameplay. I hope you all had a great Thanksgiving. We're back in Manhattan, we're on squad 28 and we just got called out for a fire on the second floor of a uh, multiple dwelling. So let's go ahead and get in our turnout gear. Pop in and head that way. We'll see what it looks like, right? All right, let's get the engine going. Parking brake off. Light zone. All right, let's see. Which way do we need to go back to the right? And uh, from that point on, I don't know. We'll just <laughs> we'll wing it and get over there. Hey, right, here we go. All right, I guess we'll just keep going down this way. It's a challenge when you're not familiar with Manhattan, right? Like, you don't know. It always impresses me. Those dudes probably, they probably know the area like the back of their head, forward and backwards, you know. They could probably do it blindfolded, really. Well, it looks like we'll be first on scene. Alright, I don't know if this other street is a one way. I really don't. You know what? We'll, we'll go the wrong way either way. Yeah, it's gonna be. That'd be alright though. Not that far. Come on, get out the way. Of course they won't. They just sit there like a knot on a log. here though so I don't see any uh, I don't see any smoke or anything all right you know what I guess we'll just park here because these dudes like they're having none of it <laughs> they don't want to move do what we got here uh, it's gonna be one of these right yes I see the fire okay we do have a fire let's go ahead and get uh, who else we got 32, 20, uh, squad 28, 42, okay, 32, 49, 66, and 68, okay. Go ahead and get these other, uh, units called up. 32, we'll do, uh, a 32 spare. It seems like it's going pretty good in the back there. 32 spare, we'll put you... We'll put him right here. Do there. Uh, let's put uh, a 49. Get 49. We'll put him down here by the hydra. We'll do 49 spares as well. We'll do all spares. It's gonna be a spare kind of day, right? All right. Let's get uh, let's get 49 spare and we'll put him down here by the hydrant. Do that, and let's see. We need uh, ladder 66 and tower 68. All right, let's grab ladder 66. 66 spare. That would be nice. We'll grab him, and we'll put you. Put him. Put him in front of uh, this engine. Put him there. And then we need 68, tire ladder 68. Alright, let's get 68 spare. Probably put you. Uh, I shot on it. 
All these cars are parked in the way here. I don't really have anywhere else to put it. You know what? We'll back him in right here. Back him in right here. Kind of turned into a traffic jam a little bit there. All right, so we need to get uh, some water supply set up. All right, let's jump back on uh, squad 28. And we're getting our turnout gear. We'll have to get a supply going here. Let's see, where's that hydrant at right there? Okay, that'll work out. Got that two up here. Across the street. Luckily, if they run over it, it won't hurt nothing. Hydrant wrench, there we go. All right, we have no water on the ladder. I have no clue as to why. Like, we've got we've got a supply going into this one from the other engine. We've got uh, is discharge is doing the discharge to this one, which is coming out the front and it's going to the uh, the ladder. Like, I have no clue as to why it's not doing its thing. All right, well, you know what? We'll uh, we'll just do the deck gun then. I don't know what's up with that. I really don't. We we'll hit it with the deck gun. Try to knock it down. This place got fully, fully involved before we could ever really get on it. Good. I could have. I could have drugged the attack line right off the bat and uh, you know knock it down a little bit. But I mean, what's the fun in that, right? There we go. We're getting uh, we're getting pretty good knock on it though. That's for sure. Window right here. I like it quite wants to go right. <laughs> it's like we're in between. Like we can't just quite get it. We'll do that one. There we go. All right, let's hop off. Let him keep doing his thing. Cause I remember someone had mentioned in a comment they want us to do a uh, hit it with a deck gun and do an attack. So that's what we'll do. We'll pull an attack line. I don't think we're gonna worry about the other stuff that much right now. There, we got our water going. Uh, we got a spare front door laying on the uh, stairs here. I don't know what's up with that. Get through the window here, see if we can get at least a little bit of a knock going so we can uh, have a little breathing room to get in there. Like it's all mostly upstairs now. There we go. Get the bed put out. I think we'll be good to go in here. Ah, oh, it's so laggy for me. Yeah, it is. It's most definitely laggy today. I don't know why. I don't know why. It's like there's a door at the top of the stairs and it's wanting to uh, lick through the wall there a little bit. Oh yeah. Oh, oh. oh dude, you're okay. You, I can't, <laughs> he's so dramatic. He's so dramatic. All right, let's see. He's so dramatic, dude. Don't be a baby about it. Little fire. Hopefully this will get it knocked down a little bit there. Looks like it. I can't tell where I'm at now. Seriously, I can't like hardly tell anything here. Get back to the back of it here. Can't get 
up over that bed there. They need to move their bed to a different, uh, a better location. Shut the door. No, it don't look like it, does it? Oh, damn. I don't know. We can hit it this way. There we go. We'll just get around the corner, I guess. Yeah, it is. I don't get it. It's really laggy for me today. Like, this is the worst it's been in a while. I, it, it got, it gotten really good. It gotten really good. And then, uh, this one has definitely got some lag issues going on. You know what? Let's get our, uh, let's get our air off. We're going to eat smoke. They did it back in the day. That's what we're going to do. I don't want to keep running back and forth getting, uh, getting tanks, air tanks. They <laughs> got all these doors. All these doors around here. All right, here we go. Let's get some uh, water going here. Yeah, I'd love to be able to knock down doors at some point. I really think that would be awesome to be able to take the ax and just bust them down out of the way and then you don't have to worry about them anymore, you know? Because now it's like, uh, you know, you open a door and uh, sometimes they're kind of in the way. Like you have to get around them or, uh, you know, I don't know. I just think the door is like, they're kind of aggravating sometimes. Like, if we could get them completely out of the way, that would be nice. I'd be all about that. Yeah, let's see. Let's go on. <coughs> Seed of the fire here. So, you guys, I'm learning. I'm learning terms. Learning stuff. I've been watching uh, some more of the old school uh, FDNY videos on YouTube. There's one I watched the other day. I think it was from The Bravest. For uh, Rescue One back, uh, it was in the 90s. It was just prior to 9-11. Uh, and uh, of course, unfortunately, several of those guys in that show um, didn't make it, which is really incredibly sad, but uh, it, it was a good, uh, a good episode to watch. I really, uh, I really enjoyed it. Got a lot of smoke in there. Come back out. Or we're not taking much damage though, so that's good at least. Let's go ahead and refresh our air tank here. Yeah, if it's a little smoky, I don't mind so much, but uh, if it's like really raging in there and just really bad, then we'll do the tank. It just, like I said, that's one of the biggest things about single player is the air tanks, like having to constantly, uh, constantly get new air. knock this down through the wall here. Maybe a little bit. I don't know. It doesn't seem like it's had much effect, does it? <laughs> Oof. Yeah, it is definitely up here. Alright, let's get the air going. First person going as well. Yeah, someone had also made a comment a while back, said, uh, you, you don't do a lot of, uh, first person. No, I never have. It, um, first person to me, like, when you're trying to turn or do a 180, uh, sometimes it can be a little bit clunky for whatever reason. I just, I always prefer the, uh, the third person. Like, that's just, you know, usually I'll bust out first person when, um, I'm having a hard time seeing what I'm doing or, um, I need a, a certain angle to get on the fire, so... Like, uh, one's chair's on fire in here. Oh, no, we got someone. We got a victim. Got a victim. There, he's, he didn't stand a chance. Like, we could have never, uh, we could never got to this dude. Yeah, we'll have to turn this into a recovery, probably. I don't think he's probably not going to be alive, guys. He's probably going to... All right, let's get out of that. See, yeah, sometimes first person to me, like, moving around gets really, it gets a little confusing. Yo, watching some of the old school videos lately, like Man on Fire, uh, what is it, Man on Fire, the Bronx is burning or something like that. That's a really, really, really good old school one. Um, I w if you haven't watched it, definitely watch that, uh, that video. <clears throat> it's, uh, it's back from the 70s. 
from the 70s a lot of really good i cannot get like usually i can jump up on this bed and get out of here and i just can't do it like we may have to see if we can make an attack from the rear I, honestly i can't get by that door out there i can't do it like i think in the past i've been able to uh to jump up on the bed and then go around that way but um we're not having any luck with that today Anyway, uh, the Bronx is burning. Uh, that's a really good one. It's got a lot of uh, good old school equipment in it and stuff like that. It was filmed in the 70s. I'd definitely watch that one. I'd love to see some uh, equipment in game from the 70s and 80s uh, stuff that you'd ride the tailboard. I mean, could y'all imagine how fun that would be? Especially like in multiplayer or something like that. All right, I think we're getting... Uh, Oh, damn, we can't get in back here. I thought there was a door back here. Well, we may have to finish this up with uh, an exterior attack, because... I just, I can't get to it. Yeah, I thought there was a rear entry on this place. I didn't know, uh... Didn't know that was it. It looks like it went out though, so that's good. I think we probably got it all taken care of. A little water in there, good measure. We'll soak it down good. I think we got it though, I think that's it. Well, I see smoke, I still see dark smoke up here. Never mind, still got some fire going. Like it's gonna be the very front room here, second story front room. Yeah, okay. Grab that real quick. Man, she's so laggy. I don't understand why. Alright, we'll knock this one out up here and then we'll call it a day. Get our air going. Oh, it's pretty smoky up here. It just, it blows my mind how they used to do this without air. Like, <laughs> that was really common. Like really common to do this without air. It just, gosh, man, how many, uh, how many firefighters probably had uh, lung issues, you know, uh, doing this? And plus, like asbestos was really, pre you know, prevalent back then, and just all sorts of bad stuff. So, man, couldn't even imagine. All right, let's get to uh, first year. get it through the wall. I'm not quite sure where this one is coming from. Get to that. That's the stairs. You can get it this way. Maybe it's just on this side. There we go. Alright, yeah, we're getting it now. There we go. Sweet. All right, let's drop our pike and let's grab our line. Maybe we can just spray the wall, I guess. I don't know, guys. This may just have to keep burning because I really don't know how to uh, to get to that there. Like that's a really bad spot for some fire, and we can't can't gain access. There we go. All right, it's getting it through the wall. It must be just kind of a little uh, a little buggy spot there. We'll soak it down really, really good. Just in case. That was odd. I've never run into that before. Hopefully, this will get it. Then we'll have to go upstairs and uh, recover that victim. They've been up there in the smoke and the heat and the fire for a while, so I imagine they're not doing very well. They're probably, they probably didn't make it. All right, get our stokes. Nice. Love that. I love that they added this stuff in, the stokes and the uh, backboard and all that stuff. So I think it's going to be hard to bring him down in the stokes, like around these corners and stuff. We may not do that, actually. You know what? On second thought, we're just going to carry him down. Just going to carry him down. I, I don't see myself like being able to navigate uh, with that stokes basket. 
all those corners, all those twists and turns and corners and stuff like that, because you kind of have to like pick it up and drag it behind you and I feel like it's going to be a lot of work. It's going to be more work than uh, what Spur wants to do today, so <laughs> we're just going to carry him. I'm just going to carry the dude down there. We'll check him out. There we go. And you don't look too bad, considering he's been up there uh, baking for um, probably 30 minutes. Don't look bad at all, actually. Maybe he's all right. We'll see. We'll check him out when we get down here. All right, we'll drop you right here, dude. <laughs> he just threw him down. <laughs> oh, no. He just threw my man down on the ground hard. Like we slammed him down on the ground. There we go. We'll get us another Stokes basket. And... I guess we could have put him in that other one over there. So oh, where'd he go? There he is. There we go. Nice. All right, let's check his dude out. Let's do the uh, menu here. Who it looks like? Temps 90. His pulse is zero. His blood pressure is two over two. Is that what that says? It looks like two over two to me, guys. That's not good. Patient's not breathing. He's got black soot around his mouth and nose. Audible trouble breathing. He's got 80% uh, uh, breaths per minute, zero. Uh, temperature, 90. Yeah, I don't think... I don't think this dude is... Uh, basically, what I think is we're not going to try to save him is what I'm trying to say, guys. <laughs> I don't think we're going to try to save him. This is a victim. All right, let's see. Can we cover him up? Uh, yes. Yes, unfortunate. Oh, uh, we bagged the Stokes basket and the dude. Nice. <laughs> okay, this all wrapped up in a nice little package here. All right, guys, I think that's going to do it for this one. I hope y'all enjoyed it. If you did, please sh be sure to hit that like, subscribe, ring that bell. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. And uh, we'll catch you on the streets in New York next time. Peace.